Uh, here we're back again. Episode 7 of Minecraft Story Mode for the Xbox One X. So, well, this time, it's just, it's just me now. Well, let's just get started anyway. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Back again, this room again. I don't even know why I said again twice. Uh, we're here. Why did the music cut off like that? Crazy! Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow! How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Come on, Petra. I know it's tough, but we're the Order of the Stone. We don't just give up. Ah! Uh, I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse. They don't exactly get us any closer to home, do they? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again! <laughs> See? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. It's not like we have directions about how all this works. So, of course, there is going to be some trial and error. Error and error and error and error. Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts. But someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. And what if there's no smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... Another Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. Well, I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling shots every single time. Whoa. I know what I'm doing. This is for everyone's own good. If you really knew what was for our own good, we'd be back home by now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down. I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? 
I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. Accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. What's inside, though? I think this is a mesa biome. Awesome. Oh, man. You're right. I mean, all the sand and clay and everything. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. Keep an eye out for the exit portal. I don't want to get stuck here if the worst happens. Ah, uh, you mean pumpkin face killers, surprise fire worlds, monsters? Yeah, any of that stuff. Who knows what this world has in store for us? Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Can either of you see where it goes? Looks like this canyon we're in is blocked at the end, so it's got to lead somewhere. We're not going to find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Petra, wait. Uh, there are people here. Petra, okay. Shh, we'll cut get off down. The, we'll cut off what the beginning of the park. Look. Whoa. Uh oh. Right. What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime. It's just running a dialogue. Crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look. See what we can find out. Works for me. <laughs> yeah! What the? There's something weird about this zombie. I can actually use a hand. It just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Petra. I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem right. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Maybe this world zombies are super buff? Seems possible. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Did we do that? With what? The power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! What is that? In my head! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it's definitely... 
instantly time to get out of here. Fine. By me. Fine. Oh, what's up with these sounds? <gasps> uh, what? They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. Where there are buildings, there must be people. Let's find them and see if they can explain what's going on. And maybe they'll know where the exit portal is, too. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah, I, I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Uh, don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. <laughs> Oops. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Crown Mesa. Mesa population 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Hmm. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular. Mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. What is up with these sounds and outside of my house? This place out. See ya. What else here? Their well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Who? The... What? Huh? Uh-oh. Conversation going any better up close. We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even the scream. 
more of a yelp. That guy I was just talking to, trying to talk to, he wasn't human. What? Yeah, he was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird, glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. <laughs> yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Who's Pama? Huh, like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait, you're serious? You don't know? Okay, eyes, not red. Not red? But, but that must mean, but how? And there are more of you? This should be, it's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there was some outside. They're uh, distinctive looking now. Okay, out with it. What's going on with these people? What's up with this town? I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Uh. Is that what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Uh, Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Well, hello there. What a beautiful afternoon, right? I'm getting zero friendship vibes here. Lots of impending violence vibes. You are not from this place. You're right. This isn't our home. Came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Pama's suspicions. A decision has been made. Pama has questions. Uh oh. You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? We're not going anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch. Watch it! You will be made useful. Oh no. <laughs> what what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! <gasps> what is What is that? You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be... So wait, everything here is... Part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing.
processing information. It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Oh. We could have just talk this out, you know. Um, hang on, let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can't delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to know. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me. What is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out to this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... Not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Tama thanks you for being so helpful. Let me go! Ah! Uh -huh. is looking a little dire, don't you think? Let my friends go, now! <gasps> it is like you told Petra. This is for your own good. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had? A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. Let's ask Palma something that doesn't make sense, like an uh, unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox, a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. Pama, trust me when I tell you, trust no one. So, 
if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. It's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say trust no one. Sensing some history here. Please do not leave, Creator. Come on, we need to follow her. An excellent idea. so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Alright, next session will continue. I need to do something real quick. Actually, never mind. I don't think I don't think uh, my grandma's here because I want to show something that that my mom did. Whoa! A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys that was some pretty smart work distracting Pama. Now we just need to get off the grid, get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen, they're also faster. We'll need to split it up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? 
I'm gonna use the back route. Throw him off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? Like just said, what does that mean? Hmm. She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. Whoa, what is this? So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this be. I don't think that's connected. Oh. Monsters coming, Jesse. Many, many monsters. Okay, that cactus is in real life and the painting. They're here. Oh, no. Ah. Aww. You have been made useful. Wait, really? What happens if you died? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or I suppose to guess. Seems just a little off. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. <gasps> to see what it does quickly quickly hope you've got an idea for what comes next working on it jump down I see water we can aim for that Got it is. Just one after the other. Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. <laughs> and looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes. Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> ah! Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? We need to turn it off. Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It works! That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palma's chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. 
I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Intriguing, Ivor? Why, whatever do you mean by that? I, what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing more. <clears throat> Careful with all that sputtering. You'll swallow your beard. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Don't worry, they can't get in and it'll be fine. Yeah, I also thought they couldn't make it down here and look how that worked out for us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining, until the day Pama decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already, started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. So you're saying Pama is crazy then? No. Crazy is a horrible way to put it. Palma's just very driven and a little confused. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. So what you're telling me is that your brain is super dangerous and can't go anywhere near Palma. How are you supposed to help us with any of this? I do think I can help you with, with Pama, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See, I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know, I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. 
Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy any more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. I don't want to fight you. What you want doesn't interest Palma. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty awful, but I'll get over it. Thanks for asking. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa! Hmm. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Harper isn't crazy, she's just eccentric. Most geniuses are. True, very true. Let's cut her a break, okay? She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Let's check here. A little weird. 
morning, Larver. It is Harry. It is always so good to see you. You should not let yourself feel guilty. You have the best of intentions. You are like a flower in the desert, and bring joy to those who have none. Okay. Just need to put this uh, rose up. Uh... For us, like I'm always used to Poppy, but this is the old Poppy Here you though. Go, Harry. Nice. Looks like I'm on the right track. Hmm. Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. Huh, this frame's got an ice block in it. What else here? Wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Greater than all the world's breadstone, you made all our lives better. Hmm. Do I need a, a, a torch? Anything? So, what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. These might come in handy. Maybe I can make a rest of torch. Where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? I can't help but feel bad for her. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. We're still gonna save Lucas, don't you worry about that. I'll try not to. Okay, here it is. Maybe this should do it. One redstone torch. And hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Let me see here. That will do it. That did the trick. Hmm. This must be Harper's headset. Do we even know what this is supposed to do? I know you feel pretty confident that Harper's one of the good guys now, but I just want to make sure that putting on an electronic device built by the same person who built that monster machine is worth the risk. Whatever it does, we're going to use it to defeat Pama and free everyone under its power. 100% sure how, but we will. Woo! Go team! Here we go! Whoa! Like, what do we even see inside? to see something. What are you seeing? Wait, but this is VR. Is Palma there? I'm not in the lab, I'm outside. What? I, I'm at the base of a giant mesa from the looks of it. 
It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. We can't let Palma win. I better get moving if I want to reach Harper in time. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there. But that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Let me see if there's something right here. Oh, it's a zombie. In the flesh. In the rotting, super gross flesh. Anything else here? Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. It looks exactly like all the other zombies. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. I don't know what I can do with this, but... Oh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Well, that's a lot of sand. What should I do? Huh. Let's see what I can craft. Red sandstone. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down, too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft uh -huh. them, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace oh, number no. team initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! Let Harper and Lucas go, Pama. But, Jesse, I am so happy to have them. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let My go! My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. I'm a skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Palma's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Uh -huh. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Oh, 
sorry, buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper. Harper? Please, you can Harper. What should you I do? are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, comma. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Not useful, my butt! Oh no. Time to move. Fun, actually. I'm never gonna sign off on this, Pama. I'm here to rescue you, Harper. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Yeah. That should do it. Trace number team running. Quick, follow me. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Secret War! You and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'll be back to rescue you and take care of Palma. I promise. Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that headset useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. We can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Harper believes in us, and we're her last hope. We're everyone's last hope to stop Palma. Harper wouldn't put her trust in us unless she knew what we were capable of. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core, and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone heart? Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before? There are three of them. Redstone spires. And, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? 
don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Pama stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Pama. Lead the way, Jesse. Here we go. Come on. Quick, hide. Where is the entrance to this bomb core anyway? On the other side of all these bombs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? Uh, wrong subtitle. <clears throat> These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And a potion of leaping. These might come in handy. I always love a good button. Cool. Buttons can activate TNT, but I still need some way to connect them together. TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom, path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities... Are endless. I want to be fast, really, really fast. Give me the potion of swiftness. Fine. Don't push me. With this, I'll be able to run super fast and lay down all the TNT and red soap before Palma even knows what happened. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. Real cool. Give that you, Jesse, because this won't work. My forces will protect the exit portal. No. My fans have almost finished building our new exit portal. And then I will make all other worlds useful. Yay! You cannot defeat me. Your defiance is not useful. <sighs> this must be it. Oh, I think Pama might be on to us. I wonder if those explosions had anything to do with it. to shut down Palma before it can send its chip forces through it. I will find you, Chesky. I have lots of friends. Gotta go fast. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ivor, Petra, give me your bucket. Lucas. Oh, 
Okay, Dad. Hey, but that to even do this. I already finished it. Yeah. See? Oh, that was worse than I could have imagined. Oh, you're free. Palma's out of your head now. Thank you. Jesse, behind you!
bet I will. You bet I will. Okay. You. We've got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friend looks tough. You sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail, just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to meet your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me, and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your home world will soon be made useful. Driving out like this won't hurt me. You'll never make me useful, Mom, I can promise you that. You are fighting me with bad jokes. Well, not intentionally. Okay, Lucas, come on. Where is the come on in the no, subtitles? You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare, I gotta get to that hard dude. Enough of this. severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Palma's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I'm just glad you're on our side again. We need you. Back at you, Jesse. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous, too, right? I mean, if it was inside of Palma. Yes, it's obviously dangerous. 
Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the redstone heart is empowering Kama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> if we actually made it through this alive, I thought you'd like a nice surprise. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. one who saved us who are you you fought so bravely well I'm Jesse and we're the order of the stone boom we walk the world seeking adventure and doing good deeds Wow well thank you we owe you everything you're right Jesse and the order really are heroes we couldn't have done any of this without them Harper is that you um yes Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand. Harper built Palma with good intentions. What happened here is Palma's fault. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes, I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home. Again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. You deserve good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra, me too. Hmm. We just saved this world. We just need to find a way back. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Yeah, it's pretty weird. This place makes my skin feel all prickly. Well, I'm just excited that we're going home. That's what I'm trying to focus on. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No, 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 I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny, whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. 
In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. Okay, then. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Uh, how far can I go up this staircase anyway? It's not like Mario 64. Offline mode. Chapter 6 to episode 7. So tomorrow is going to be episode 8, which is the final final episode of this entire series. Because what if... Mm, I don't know if I can do season 2, because if I go on Amazon, it's probably probably a little expensive. It's like, it's like $90. But maybe soon I'll, I'll consider trying getting season 2. But uh... I guess that's it for today. See you.